this TikTok of someone who got laid off from her job, for some reason got to me, which is not normal. I'm a 20 year career coaching veteran. I listen to people every single day, multiple times a day, who tell me their stories of being shocked when they got laid off or fired. But this one hit me, I had to watch it twice. And I think the reason for it is that she talks a lot about what she did for the company, but also for these people. And I remember hearing her say these people and I immediately triggered, oh, you don't work for people, you work for a company, they're not your friends, they're not your family, which she totally gets now. I'm not saying she doesn't understand that, but it just breaks my heart because there are so many people going through this for the first time like her. And understandably so, she, she admits she's done additional TikToks and she's just so cool. She admits that she hung up the phone and made a TikTok and showed us the raw emotion, which I appreciate because I, I received this raw emotion with all the people that I work with that get unexpectedly fired or laid off. And I know what they're feeling and I know it's temporary and I want them to grieve. I want people to do this. I want them to get it out of their system. But if there's something that I could share with all of you, and if you know somebody that's going through what she's been through, there's this. This is the next thing I coach people on when we have those one-on-one -on -one calls. It is really important that you reclaim your power as quickly as possible. And I mean lightning fast. Yes, I want you to grieve, but not for very long. Because reclaiming your power is what's going to reframe that career story and actually help you win. The best career revenge in the whole wide world is when you change what happened here and you do that by identifying the MOAs, the moments of accountability. So when I work with clients, if I was working with her, for example, we would sit down and we would go through, we'd go back as far as we need to and go, where were the moments of accountability? Where were the moments where you look back now and you go, oh, I, I, if that happened again, I'd do it differently. I'm not saying you did anything wrong. I would never say that people need to say, okay, this is what I did wrong. Moments of accountability are about knowing what I know now, having lived that experience, I now know that I would do this differently and this differently and this differently. And this is where you reclaim your power because now you just took that experience, which most people initially codify as bad. Right? They initially go, this is a horrible experience, a terrible experience. But when you reclaim your power, when you identify the moments of accountability and you retrain the story, now you rewrite that ending. And let me tell you something. Every single day, people I talk to that had this happen to them end up in new, better paying jobs and saying to me, JT, it turned out to be the best thing that ever happened to me. So you don't know the ending of this story yet. Right now, it might not feel good, but I can tell you 20 years as a career coaching veteran, the faster we get you to identify the MOAs and talk about them and leverage them, the faster you win, the faster you get that sweet career revenge where all your old coworkers find out you're at a new, better paying job and loving your life. And this is how you rewrite the ending to this thing, okay? The story's not done yet. So shout out to her for her honesty. Shout out to any of you that have gone through this. But most importantly, will you just trust me when I say find those moments of accountability, embrace them, own them, and then get going because your next chapter is right around the corner. Leverage the power, okay? If this made sense, will you help me? It's free. I just want you to follow me here and start posting your questions. I'm the career coach in this app trying to help 10 million people get new, better paying jobs, and I'm doing that with lots of free content, lots of live streams, and a whole bunch of resources for job seekers that are also free linked in my bio, okay? I love you all so much. You can do this, I promise you. Good luck, go get them.